Good morning, beautiful. I am writing this letter to you in the quiet and dark of our living room. When I was young, I never thought I could end up with someone as perfect as you. Today, all I want is to hold your hand and show you off as my wife to the world. I promise that I will hold you tight and keep you in the moment to make sure you enjoy it. I promise you this weekend of a lifetime and now I can tell you the real reason I wanted our date. I chose it so that we will never forget that you were my 10 out of 10. <laughs> I knew he was gonna put that in. I have loved you since the day I met you, but my love grows every single day. One of those days was last year, but you were having a long, hard day at the dojo. It was December, so I opened the blinds and turned on all the Christmas lights. That smile when you saw them all perfect, and I wanted to see it every day. You have supported me through everything and always believed in me. You always stayed by my side no matter what. From today forward, as husband and wife, we stand next to each other against everything. I wouldn't want that with anyone else in the entire world. I will always love you endlessly, and I have never been more excited or for our happily ever after. Endlessly, Russell. We'll start a life of the plain and simple Of great times with far better people And weekends with our friends Laughing about the wine that stains their teeth <laughs> We'll talk about how your parents separated <laughs> and How you don't want to make the same mistakes as them I'll say it's all about sticking it out And trying to feel forever young here we go again Wishing we could start again When do you run away with me? I know I sound crazy Don't you see what you do to me? I wanna yeah, I, be your last boy Your last chance A better reality yeah. When do we can get away? I promise if you oh, with me Say you better have a so. way And I can be your last boy your last chance, your everything better plan Oh, somewhere in Neverland Oh, 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 oh. So here we go again Wishing we could start again I see you and you won't be surprised it happens every time it's nothing new it's always on a night like tonight I thank God you can read my mind cause when you look at me with those eyes I'm speechless staring at you standing there in that dress what it's doing to me I told you I you is all that I can do. And I'm speechless. You already know that you're my weakness. After all this time, I'm just as nervous. Every time you walk into the room. Something to me. 
Welcome, family and friends. What you are about to witness today is a celebration of love and of life. We are here to celebrate the marriage of Amanda and Russell, two people very much in love, appreciative and ready to begin what we already know will be an extraordinary marriage. Planning this celebration this past year has not been easy, and there were moments we weren't sure that, would we, that we would be able to safely gather or even where we would gather. But this year has reminded us all that when the world gets chaotic all around us, it's love that remains the constant and it sees us through challenging times. For Amanda and Russell, today was less about a wedding day than it is about beginning their adventure as husband and wife. Because while a wedding day is a wonderful event, it's just one day. But marriage, on the other hand, is the journey of a lifetime. Today, we recognize that finding that one person out of all seven and a half billion of us here on this earth, having been sent to you by the universe to make your life sweeter and brighter, to be the warmth in the cold, and to love you for the parts of yourself that no one else will ever see, well, that is indeed worth celebrating. We begin with a blessing. Our hearts are filled with great happiness on this wedding day of Amanda and Russell. We ask, as they pledge their hearts and lives to one another, that blessings continue to shine upon them, granting them with prosperity and abundance, health and happiness, joy and peace. Temper their hearts with kindness and help them to remain sweethearts, partners, friends, and guides, so that together they may meet the cares and problems of life more bravely. Bless their wedding day and all who are gathered here in celebration. I'm gonna ask the two of you to turn just a little bit. Take a good look at all these folks who are here today just because they love you. Hello, everyone. Well, as you all know, family and friends are very important to our bride and groom. And while I'm sure that you're all happy to be here with them, they wanted very much to express how deeply grateful they are to have every one of you here today and in their lives. You are their nearest and dearest loved ones. All the time that you have spent and conversations that you have had have helped our bride and groom reach this special moment. To stand before all those we care for most in the world and to promise to love another person openly, trustingly, without limit or precondition and to do this for a lifetime, well, this is one of the most meaningful thing that's two, things that two people can choose to do. And so today, Amanda and Russell, you will take the promises that you have already made to each other in the privacy of your own hearts and you will take on all the honor and respect that comes with the titles of husband and wife. Titles that say to the whole world, this is the one person that I choose to be my own, to hold above all others today and for all the days of my life. Amanda, have you come here today with love in your heart and of your own free will to take Russell to be your husband, that you may live together as equal partners sharing all that life has to offer? And will you love him, comfort him, honor, and keep him for all the days of your life? I will. And Russell, have you come here today with love in your heart and of your own free will to take Amanda to be your wife, that you may live together as equal partners sharing all that life has to offer? I have. And will you love her, comfort her, honor, and keep her for all the days of your life? I will. So Amanda and Russell, we're celebrating your future today, but to do this, we honor the journey that you have traveled over the past 15 years to arrive at this spectacular moment. You were just children when you met at a karate tournament. Amanda was judging and Russell was keeping score. Russell, you were drawn to Amanda and you chased her down after the tournament to ask for her phone number. <laughs> Spoiler, she gave it to him. <laughs> Amanda, you enjoyed talking with Russell that day he seemed shy, and you found yourself wanting to draw him out of his shell because you could see that he was a wonderful person. And just like that, your connection to one another began. Well, for your first date, you met at the Bayville Scream Park with a group of friends. A character jumped out at you, Amanda, and you punched him and knocked him out cold. It's pretty badass. Can I say that in the microphone? You can say that. That's really badass. <laughs> and Russell, 
you might have been both impressed and slightly frightened. <laughs> but you were both very young and not yet ready to understand what a gift you were to each other. You both had so much growing up to do. You remained friends, best friends, until 2013, when during a long talk sitting in the car, you both admitted your feelings for one another. Over your years together, you have developed a solid foundation of friendship, loyalty, and of course, love. You already knew each other so well when you started dating, it was a natural progression. Together, you have traveled and competed around the world, earning awards and recognition. You have dressed up and danced with the big bands at the Intrepid or at Renaissance fairs, gone to loud concerts, and just sat with some ice cream watching the boats in Port Jeff. And you moved in together during a worldwide pandemic proving that you truly do like each other. <laughs> you can make each other laugh even when in the worst situations. You're each other's rock when the world falls apart, bringing out one another's strengths, working as a united team to face the challenges that life throws in your path. From your beautiful beginning, you have continued putting in the work of establishing a relationship worthy of the promise of marriage. You have talked and listened, learned and grown, cared about all the silly and the serious things that your days have brought, and you have put one another's needs above your own. You have treated each other as the most important person in your lives, and from today forward, all that work will be recognized, celebrated, and honored every time you speak the words, my husband or my wife. Today, you take the next step beyond being a couple to becoming family. You, have truly, you are truly blessed to have found one another and to have reached this place in your lives together. May I have the rings, please? Thank you. <laughs> Wedding rings are unbroken symbols, symbols of eternity with neither end nor beginning. Although you each wear only one of them, these rings essentially belong to you both, for they are a symbol of the love that you share and your promise that it will be a strong and lasting love. Throughout the years, these rings will speak softly of your vow to grow along with one another, to face the challenges of life, to remain one another's first priority, and to keep your relationship rich and full. They will give you strength and comfort in times of uncertainty, and they will heighten life's joys as you share them. From this day forward, you will wear these rings as a sign that no matter where you go or whatever you do, there's someone in this world who loves you and chooses to share life with you, and whether near or far, will always be right by your side. Russell, in Amanda, you have found a partner who always finds the best in people, showing kindness and compassion to everyone. Amanda has a passion for life, wearing her emotions on her sleeve and excited about every new adventure. The first time Amanda came to your house for your 14th birthday, your father announced, hey Russ, your future wife is here. And you just know how very proud he, of you he is at this moment, giving you his blessing. Well, Russell, there are certain things that Amanda needs from you in order to make sure you have a long and happy life together. She asks you to be her teammate and partner in life love, and all things. She may not easily ask for help if she needs it, so please jump in if you see her struggle. Communicate with her openly and honestly so that you always understand each other's thoughts and intentions. Keep the romance and playful spirit as a vital part of your connection to one another so that your marriage remains vibrant and meaningful. Continue to do the things that you already do, both great and small, with words and with gestures, that show Amanda just how much you love her. Russell, do you vow to fulfill these promises and do you take Amanda to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Please take a moment and speak the words you've written to share today. <laughs> Amanda, I never realized it at the time, but on the day I first met you, a page turned in my life to a new chapter. A chapter of us. We became inseparable in a way. making sure never to drift too far, even when times became trying. The more we grew together, the more my love for you grew. You are my best friend and have been since the very beginning. I always told myself that I would make you mine. 
and I don't quite remember, but I'm sure that I also told that to everyone else I knew. <laughs> <laughs> I never dreamed that I could love somebody the way that I love you, yet here I am, standing in front of you and saying that I love you even more than yesterday. Today I'm making a promise to you, a promise that no matter what happens in our insane lives, that I will always be with you at the end of the day. I will hold you in my arms and help you keep your smile in the darkest of times. I will catch you if you begin to fall. I will keep your hands in mine and cherish you for as long as I live and beyond. And I will make sure to hold on tight while you pull me along on your adventures. You are my everything. You've made me the happiest man in the world. I promise to always remind you how lucky I am to have you in my life. I can't wait to live happily ever after with you. I love you honestly. Amanda. I, Russell. I, Russell. Take you, Amanda. Take you, Amanda. To be my wife. To be my wife. You are the love of my life. You are the love of my life. And my best friend. And my best friend. I vow to love you. I vow to love you. And honor you. And honor you. Respect. Respect. And cherish you. And cherish you. I promise to love you endlessly. I promise to love you endlessly. Yeah. There we go. Good. Yes. Technically I do, but you got a minute. Breathe. Amanda, you admire Russell's determination. He will achieve any goal he sets for himself. You appreciate his laughter and his smile, his smolder, and his dad joke vibe. <laughs> Seems like you all know it. <laughs> Russell leaves you thoughtful little notes around the house for you to discover and makes your favorite comfort food when you've had a challenging day. Russell makes you safe to be your authentic self and feel vulner vulnerable with him because he accepts and loves you just as you are. Well, Amanda, there are certain things that Russell needs from you in order to make sure you have a long and happy life together. He counts on your continued patience, trust, and support. Continue to be his biggest fan, encouraging him and motivating him to be his best self. Keep working towards creating a beautiful life for yourselves, always moving forward together along your shared journey. Make mindful decisions each and every day to nurture your connection, to one another as it is the foundation of your lives together. Continue to do the things that you already do with words and with gestures, both great and small, that show Russell just how much you love him. Amanda, do you take, do you vow to fulfill these promises and do you take Russell to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. I'm not leaving us hanging on that note. Russell, you always came into my life at exactly the right moment, when I needed your love the most, even if I wasn't ready to admit it. You have stuck by my side through the best and worst and loved all that I am. And I am so thankful to have had the opportunity to love the boy you were and the man you are today. And I can't wait to witness the person you become. As our lives become one, I promise to always put us first and to make sure we are constantly working together to grow and create the life we've always dreamed of. I promise to always be there when life gets hard and to know that sometimes simply letting you talk about your problems is enough. I promise that laughter will always be commonplace in our house and to listen to every god-awful joke that pops into your head. <laughs> Most importantly, I remember that life is what happens in the moment, in all the moments, not just the big ones, and to never take a second for granted, and to always be down for any adventure that comes our way. Today I say I do, but to me that means I will. I will stand by your side through the good and the bad. I dedicate myself to your happiness, your success, your smile, and I promise to share with you my hopes and dreams as we build our lives together. Not only do I promise that my love for you will grow with each day, but I promise to be your best friend and partner every step of the way. You are my every dream come true, and I can't wait for the reality we get to build together. I love you endlessly, my husband. Almost your husband. Almost husband. <laughs> and like... Two minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> I, Amanda. I, Amanda. Take you, Russell. Take you, Russell. To be my husband. To be my husband. You are the love of my life. You are the love of my life. And my best friend. And my best friend. I vow to love you. I 
vow to love you and honor you and honor you respect respect and cherish you and cherish you i promise to love you endlessly I Well, folks, our bride and groom have chosen to include in their ceremony a symbolic binding of the hands that inspired the terms bonds of holy matrimony and to tie the knot. In Celtic tradition, the hands of the bride and groom are bound as a sign of their commitment to one another. In those days, rings were only for the very rich, while love knows no such bounds. The knot was made with material that was not permanent but perishable, as a reminder that all things of the material eventually return to the earth, unlike the bond and connection that is love, which is eternal. offer a Celtic blessing written by Ed Fitch. Above you are the stars, below you are the stones. As time doth pass, remember, like a stone should your love be firm, like a star should your love be constant. Let the powers of the mind and of the intellect guide you into your marriage. Let the strength of your wills bind you together. Let the power of love and desire make you happy, and the strength of your dedication make you inseparable. Be close, but not too close. Possess one another, yet be understanding. Have patience with one another, for storms will come, but they will pass quickly. Be free in giving affection and warmth. Have no fear, and let not the ways nor the words of the unenlightened give you unease, for your love shall be with you now and always. Well, Russell and Amanda, as we conclude, I ask you to look at the principles of your other passion, karate, to guide you through a successful marriage. There are ethics that are necessary for success in karate, even more than specific skills at times as in marriage. Strive for perfection in character. While there will be errors and missteps, walk through your journey being mindful of bringing your best self into all that you do for each other. Follow the paths of truth. This can be done with open and honest communication even when words are difficult to say with the goal of resolution over being right. Foster a spirit of effort. Give your relationship the mindful effort it needs not just to survive, but to thrive. Honor the principles of etiquette. Treat one another with respect and kindness as the most important person in your life, even when it isn't easy. Guard against impetuous courage. Make the decision to let the challenges that life brings you make your marriage ever stronger. It is the respect, courage, and focus that you bring to your martial arts practice that has won you awards and titles and brought you around the world. And now you are about to earn some new, very exciting titles to be held proudly for a lifetime. So Russell and Amanda, you are now, as your hearts already know you to be, Husband and wife, you may kiss your bride.
So what you wanna do? Let's just run, girl. If we wake up and you wanna break up, that's cool. No, I won't blame you. It was fun, girl. Don't say no, 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 no. Just say yeah, 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 yeah. And we'll go, 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 go. If you're ready, like I'm ready. It's a beautiful night. We're looking for something dumb to do. Hey, baby, I think I wanna marry you. Is it the look in your eyes, or is it this dancing shoes? Who cares, baby? I think I wanna marry you. Just say. Come on, make some noise for that 
out there, folks. Yeah. Everyone to join in.
I met Amanda at martial arts tournaments. And I always thought that she was like very tough, outgoing, and vibrant. Then I found out she was dating Russell. <laughs> and when I saw him, I thought, wow, he's such a dork. <laughs> he was so quiet and polite. And I was like, such a contrast. <laughs> but as I got to know him, I realized he was such an awesome person. Very humble, which I guess it came from his Amish background. And I mean, like, I, they're very self-sufficient. They make their own everything, jams, butter, stuff like that. And now that you two are married, you have someone to go on adventures with, to laugh with, to share memorable times with. And Russ, now you have someone to also help you turn your butter. Congratulations. <laughs> Big round of applause out there for Danny. So if anybody knows Amanda, when she is told not to do something, it makes her want to do it even more. Like when we're in a cave and they say, do not touch a stalactite. What does Amanda do? Touch, touch it. So when I became the maid of honor, I was very nervous about my speech. So my family said, whatever you do, do not do this. So since I'm naturally like Amanda, I am going to do what they said do not to do. <laughs> I'll mess up your hair. Looks good. Yes. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, this is for you, Amanda. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> Maybe I need another one of these. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're just taking both now? This is a story all about how my life got twisted upside down. I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there to tell you how Amanda and I got to right here. In Lindy, Long Island, born and raised at the dojo is where my kids spent most of their days keying out loud and showing their moves, and then all of a sudden, she appeared at my preschool. <laughs> then a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in our neighborhood. We got in one little car and packed our bags and said, we're road tripping with us girls and getting out of here. <laughs> we took pictures with the guards and when a snake came near, Amanda was the first one to get me out of there. If anything, I could say that this girl is rare. She's the only one to see the ghost with my shirt in the air. <laughs> she pulls up to my house around seven or eight and yells, girl, let me tell you about my day. I look at our friendship, we were finally there. Best friends for life, nobody could compare. <laughs> If anybody doesn't know me, I'm Alicia, I'm Amanda's best friend. I'm not offended if you don't know me because for the first three years of our friendship, we kept it a secret from everyone. <laughs> so we were closet friends. <laughs> and actually, um, we, did, we didn't do pretty good about keeping that a secret. <laughs> but naturally, as friends grew closer, we started to hang out with each other's significant others more. Uh, my girl would tell me how much she loved Russ and how you were the one for her. At that point, I knew it was my job I had to see if he was right for her. I knew what I had to do. I had to put Russ to the ultimate test. <laughs> test one, <laughs> can you save her? <laughs> so I set up escape rooms all across Long Island to see if he could get us out safely without the clock running out. Check, he was able to do it. We did every escape room in Long Island and he even did it blindfolded and chained to a wall. He passed. <laughs> test two, how is he with children? He helped sneak my eight-year-old into a haunted house at 1 a.m., and when Amanda and I got too scared and left him in the field being chased by a corn maze, Uncle Russ was there to save the day. Check. <laughs> Test three. <laughs> Would he do anything for his best, her best friend, me? <laughs> Ask Russ to help me be Santa's helper for my class. He rose to the occasion, and he even dressed up in a female Santa's elf costume for me. <laughs> Thank you, Russ. <laughs> Wow, he's doing good now. I had to put him to the ultimate test. Can he handle children at Disney? We all know if he can't, well, he isn't the one for Amanda. <laughs> 
So we went on many Disney vacations with my kids, and Uncle Russ was the one to hold my uh, son's BB-8 Star Wars toy while rushing around to get my boys on every single ride with a smile on his face. Well, that's it. He passed the test. He's a keeper. But all jokes aside, I always knew you were the one for Amanda. I didn't have to worry. I knew my best friend would be safe, with you, safe and happy with you. Since Amanda and I became friends, we've done everything together, whether it's something big like one of our numerous adventures or vacations or something little like sneaking off to get ice cream in the middle of the night or cuddling up to watch Disney Plus when I don't feel good. You became more than a friend to me. You are part of my family. So much so, you are in my holiday Santa pictures with my extended family. <laughs> You're the first person I call when I have good news, and you're the first person I run to when I have an obstacle to conquer. You know me better than I know myself, sometimes. One, uh, one, of, our many, uh, one of our things on our uh, road trip is that we started a four-star rating system that we still use for years to come. <laughs> Looking at you today, standing beautifully in your dress, making the whole room glow, I know how proud I am of the woman you are today. I always said my children are lucky to have you as a role model to look up to, but the truth is you are the role model for myself and everyone here. I can't help but rate you with five stars. And you know we never do that. <laughs> Thank you for allowing me to stand here beside both you and Russ tonight and be a part of your past, your present, and your future. Cheers to the new bride and groom. <laughs> Hello, everyone. To those who don't know, I'm James, Russell's best man. I wanted to start off by saying, what a lovely couple. We lived around the corner from each other growing up. We would get on the bus to kindergarten, sit next to each other, talk about dinosaurs, video games, whatever would come to our minds. Believe it or not, I was going to karate before Russell. I asked him if he wanted to come with me one day, and next thing you know, there he was. Before long, we were going to school, going to karate, then most likely going back to his house to play video games or occasionally eat dinner that his mom cooked, which was delicious. <laughs> she was, she was. This routine persisted through middle and high school when I left karate, and he kept going and became a black belt. In college, things changed quickly. He got into looking good. <laughs> He started learning about fashion, hairstyles, colognes. He grew in his mastery of the basic principles we learned in. Bad page turn. <laughs> Karate, discipline, <laughs> respect, determination. He has become a man I respect. He is there when you need him, a phone call away in all hours of the night. I frequently find myself asking him on advice on many different aspects of life, including how to look good. <laughs> Doesn't work, though. Somewhere inside all that time, Amanda showed up. Amanda and I have also known each other for a long time. We share moments together that people just miss. Not even Russell gets these moments. I've come to learn that she is very intelligent, caring, funny, also determined. It is your determination, no, it is from your determination that you have become a world champion in weapons. From your intelligence and your caring nature, you have come into running a dojo. Yet, while you are marching forward, you manage to find ways to relax and have fun. Impromptu indoor water gun fights might be the epitome of your ability to find moments to have fun. Unfortunately, as fate would have it, the opportunity for you two to come together as a couple didn't happen for quite a while. Like Harry Potter, Russell was still learning his spells. <laughs> Meanwhile, Amanda, like Hermione, was perfecting her own spells and teaching Harry his spells. It seemed fate wanted to wait for the perfect moment for you two to come together, a combination of knowledge and skill to achieve the impossible. As you continue your journey into the realm of magic, you may find yourselves in a new world. Explore this new world together, as it will lead you to new adventures, discoveries, more magic, and memories. Let us all raise a glass to a perfect couple. May they live happily ever after. Big round of applause,
there for James. There's two things I know for sure. She was sent here from heaven, and she's daddy's little girl. As I drop to my Come on, folks, big round of applause for them. Come on. She talks to Jesus, and I close my eyes, and I thank God for all of the joy in my life. Oh, but most of all, for butterfly kisses after bedtime prayer, sticking little white flies. Inside the pony daddy, it's my first ride. I know the cake looks funny, daddy, but I sure tried. Oh, with all that I've done wrong, I must have done something right to deserve a hug every morning and butterfly kisses at night. Folks, a big round of applause, Dad and his lovely daughter. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to have Russell escort his beautiful mom, Kathy, to the dance floor. And if you're faced with a choice and you have to choose, I hope you choose the one that means the most to you. And if one door opens to another door closed, I hope you keep on walking till you find the window if it's cold outside. Show the world the warmth of your smile But more than anything More than anything My wish for you Is that this life becomes All that you want it to Your dreams stay big Your worries stay small You never need to carry more than you can hold And while you're out there Getting where you're getting to I hope you 
Once again, folks, let's give Russell and his mom a big round of applause out there. Enjoy it. 
What I got 
there tonight this next song is for the bride and her mom
is a tribute to Russell's dad. You know you make me wanna shout, kick my heels up and shout, throw my hand up and shout, throw my head back and shout, come on. Some of you can't get up. <laughs> who needs who needs help? <laughs> yeah. the pain. Here we go, here we go. Pack it up, pack it in, let me begin. I came to win, battle me, that's a sin. I won't ever slack up, I'll give it a back up. Try and play the role and you're the whole crew will act up. Get up, stand up, come on, throw your hands up If you got the feeling, jump up, press the ceiling Monks, let's a bump up, someone's stuck and jump Yeah, I'll bust them in the eye, and then I'll take the pumps out Feeling, fuck it, amps in the trunk And I got more rhymes than this cop that a junkie Donut shop, sure enough, I got props From the kids on the hill, with my mom and my pops I came to get down, I came to get down 
get down. So get down to see and jump around. Jump around. Jump around. Jump around. Jump up, jump up, and get down. In every way And forevermore That's how you'll stay That's why, darling It's incredible That someone so unforgettable Thinks that I am unforgettable too. Unforgettable to you.